Okay, so it's 11 o'clock at night. I have the Ace, the Blue Eddy AC 200 Max hooked up to our window unit in the, in the bedroom. You can see right now it's pulling 438 watts. I also have the AC 200 Max hooked up to the expansion battery. So we hooked up to the expansion battery. I had the DC charging enhancer hooked up. That'll bring in 300 watts tomorrow when the sun comes up. And then I have another 800 coming in through the regular solar input on the side. So we're gonna see how we fare tonight and see where we at in the morning with it. And if all goes well, and I've done it many times, it'll run that window unit with no problem tonight. Tomorrow it'll fully charge back up. Of course, I don't run the window unit during the day. It'll fully charge back up. We'll also have tomorrow a, a light in the arc this, with the ceiling fan running. So that's gonna be uh, running tomorrow and that's just pulling about 30 watts. So as long as we got the sun, this thing should charge back up. We'll check back in the morning and see what kind of percentage we are with the battery. It's probably been running about 10 minutes now. You can see we had 98% on the main unit, 98% on the backup battery. All right, we'll see where we're at in the morning. This is the air conditioner we've been running all night. It's about six o'clock in the morning. So we're fixing to go look at the power station to see what kind of battery we have left on it. It is 610. And we have 14% left on the battery. That air conditioner is pulling 415 watts. And a little bit, we, sh we should start getting some sun and getting a few watts in. You can see right there to the left-hand side, it's starting to wake up. Just don't have enough sun out to bring any watts in yet. So we're gonna let this run. I'm probably gonna let this run until s about seven o'clock. Then we're gonna turn that air conditioner off. We also have a uh, some lights on that are in the office right now that's a ceiling fan with some lights on so we the air conditioner probably pulling a little bit less probably the air conditioner is probably pulling about i'd say 390 watts right this second so like i said we'll let this run until about seven o'clock and then we'll turn turn off the air condition and hopefully we'll start catching some sun to charge this thing back up So we got 6% of the battery left. You can see the air conditioner is pulling 115 watts now. The compressor's off right, right this second. We're starting to finally get a little sun in. We have uh, 10 watts coming in. It's just a couple minutes before seven. So we're about to go turn this air conditioner off and then uh, you can see the compressor just came back on for the air condition. We're gonna turn it off and then We'll uh, start charging this thing back up. I'll show you this. You can see this light starting to blink on the uh, DC charging enhancer. It's trying to start pulling some watts in also. It just has it. Once it starts pulling watts right there where it says grid, we'll have some watts coming in there. That's 300 watts I have hooked up there. And then where the PV is to the left-hand side, that's where I have the regular solar hooked up and we have 800 watt, watts hooked up there. So as the sun comes up, we'll start bringing in more power. So we're about to go turn this air conditioner off and let this thing start charging back up. Okay, we got the air conditioner off now. It's a little bit after seven. The air conditioner's off. I do have some lights running in the office there. You can see right here on the, the AC side, on the AC uh, load. It is blinking a little bit, but it's just not pulling enough watts to register. I'd probably say about maybe 10 to 15 watts that it's actually pulling. I'm not even sure if it's pulling that much, but when I turn that ceiling fan on, it pulls about 30 watts. So the ceiling fan fan isn't on right there, right this second. So we're gonna let that keep running. We should actually be charging things back up now. And we're gonna look and see how our batteries look. So the see what. So we have five percent left on the main battery, and we have seven percent left on the expansion battery. And as you can see, that's one and two, and then there's a place for a third battery. I, I don't have the third battery, but the, but the uh, AC200 Max, you can actually hook up two expansion batteries. Get back out of here and go back into the main menu. All right, so we'll come back in an hour or so, see what kind of power we got coming in and where we are on the percentage. So it's 10 o'clock in the morning now. 
we got some good sun coming in. You can see we have 415 watts coming in on the, the solar side with the DC charging enhancer. I have 160 watts coming in there. So with the solar side, I have 800 watts of solar out. And then with the DC charging enhancer side, I have 300 watts of solar. So that's pretty good. I'm actually pulling 63 watts right now with the AC power. I have the uh, lights on and a ceiling fan in that other room in there. So probably gonna keep that running during the rest of the day. So we'll have that being subtracted to what we got coming in, but shouldn't be no problem. This is the ceiling fan we've been running in the office. The one that's been pulling 63 watts, the fan with the lights. I've run that, those lights and ceiling fan with no problem and had it uh, completely charged, done it many times. So expecting it to do it again. So we've seen that we can run it, the air condition for eight hours. It was very hot last night. Yesterday was 101 and they expect them today to get up to 104. So I'm sure like everybody else, we've been having a lot of heat here in Louisiana. So we're gonna come back later on and see where we got and we're gonna get this thing fully charged. What we normally do is we, we get it fully charged and then that office in there, we turn those lights out probably about 4.30 or 5 o'clock. And then this thing is set until the until the night when we go to bed again, we turn that air condition back on. So we'll get it up fully charged and uh, we'll come back before then and see how things are going. We're up to 47% charge on the battery. It is 10 minutes after 12. We're pulling in 245 watts on one side and then 86 watts on the other side. We have some clouds overhead right this second. I do know that the 800 array that I have set up, I've seen it pulling over 500 watts earlier. So once these clouds get out of the way, I expect it to start uh, pulling in some more watts. We'll come back in about an hour and see where we're at. We'll check back in about one o'clock. All right, so we got a break in the clouds. This is like right after I stopped recording a second ago. So you see we got over 600 watts coming in the 800 array and 217 watts coming in through the DC charging enhancer. That's uh, that one's 300 watt array there. So we got 800 watts coming in right now. We're only pulling out 63 watts with that fan and lights in the other room. So like I said, we'll come back in an hour, hour or so and see where we're at. It's a little bit after one o'clock now. So we're gonna see where we have with the percentage. 63%, we got 600 watts coming in on one side and 200 watts coming in on the other. We have 63%, so looking good. I'm gonna, uh, next time I, I come back in here, I'll just wait until it's fully charged, but back to 100%. We'll see what time that is today. I'm expecting around three or so, but we'll come back and see. I have actually gotten up to 700 watts where, where the 600 is coming in now. Um, not today, but I have done that in the past, about 700 watts. I don't know if we're gonna get up there today or not. It's very hot. Don't know how much of a difference that makes, but they do say the the heat will affect how much solar you're bringing in. You're thinking to do just the opposite, but they said it's, it affects it in a ne negative way. Like I said, it's supposed to be up to 104 today. So we'll just come back when it's fully charged and see what time we got. All right. Okay, we have 99% charged now. It is 340, 99% charged. Uh, we see we've got 446 watts coming in on one side and 136 watts coming in on the other. 63 watts still going out with the fan and the lights on. And what's gonna happen between now and when we turn that, that fan and light off, is it's gonna bounce around between 99 and 100. It'll get fully charged and it'll, it'll drain back down before it starts charging back up. It'll get back to about 99 to 98%. Then it'll charge back up. So there you've seen it. We ran the air condition all night. Got it fully charged the next day. Like I said, we'll run that fan until about 4.30. The fan and the lights, we'll turn that off. We'll make sure we had 100% with this and we can redo the thing, the whole thing, set up again this tonight. Normally we turn the air condition on about six and then turn it off, I mean, turn, turn it on about 10 and turn it off about six. I got started a little late last night. I turned it on at 11 and I went ahead and let it run till seven. So you can see that full eight hour span there, how it looked. So that's what we, we normally do with it. I've run it several days, probably a few weeks like that. I know I've run it for a week straight with no issues. And there, there's been other times where I run it for a few days in a row. So I just want to show that about the 
stop the video here. A couple of more things I want to mention. I have 800 coming in on the, the solar side and 300 coming in with the DC charging enhancer. You can have a max up to 900 coming in on the solar side. So I've still got another 100 to come in over there and a max up to 500 coming in through the DC charging enhancer. So that's another 300 watts I could have had coming in. I just, I just don't have it set up like that. For what I'm wanting to do, it seems to do good. I get a charge back up in the day. So I really don't see no need with any other panels. So I did have good sun today. There's there's some times where we may have to run it a little bit longer to get back up to the 100%, 99%. But we did have pretty good sun. You seen earlier where where we didn't have, you know, we was in the clouds, but that was only for a few minutes. That we had them passing over like that every now and then, but we never were blanketed it in the clouds. As with anything, whether it's the AC 200 Max or Anything we show or talk about in the videos, we're going to have a, a link in our web page. I mean, a link to our web page in the comments below. You can just get on there and click in the, into that and bring you into our web page and you can shop around. So we see so it's, it's at 100% now. Both batteries are at 100%. And like I say, this thing can handle up to two expansion batteries. I just have the one hooked up. With the other extra expansion matter, would have been that much more watt hours that we had. So, uh, we're gonna stop the video here. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for taking time out watching it. If you have any questions or whatever, you can ask in the comments below, and I'll see if I can answer those. And also, you can look for our link down there to our webpage. Thanks.